Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 7. Now before I begin I would like to say that uh, I'm really enjoying this anime like uh, it is it has uh, because it is like a show from like almost 2011 and 12 I don't know the, the specific date or year but uh, since it is like an old show uh, I, I am kind of getting like uh, nostalgic vibes of like when I watched anime as a kid and um, like uh, like uh, the uh, only thing that I knew that I was watching was anime was Naruto like after watching starting Naruto I kind of knew that yeah this is completely different from the cartoons that I used to watch so like I'm getting that those type of vibes and uh, like recently I've not watched uh, old animes uh, for quite a long time so like uh, this is like watching uh, <laughs> this is like I'm reliving the uh, childhood memories and everything like uh, old animes have a distinct kind of like what can I say a style and everything and you can understand like uh, watching the animes now and watching the animes which are like almost uh, 10 years uh, uh, like 10 years before uh, you can understand the changes that have and the anime has gone through and uh, like uh, not all of it is good and uh, some of it is good as uh, I mean animes that are currently airing some of it is good some of it is not good but still like anime is anime like I've grown up with it and I plan on dying with it so yeah I plan on doing this like <laughs> watching anime almost uh, till the end of my life so yeah like uh, it's a long way to go this is barely the start so yeah uh, okay so in the previous episode the previous episode was one of the most hilarious episodes that I've ever seen like <laughs> like <laughs> that was really funny and um, uh, let's get started with this episode this is episode number seven and uh, yeah without further ado let's get started uh, I'll be putting the count uh, timer countdown and the uh, subtitles over here sync it to which is preference and let's get started. I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. This is what is this place? Church or something? Hmm. The bell is ringing. Okay, who is this? It's like a witch. Hmm. This must be a witch, like she's riding a broom. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, so... I think that is a witch, like, uh, she was wearing a... Uh, uh, she was riding a broom and everything, so... If they did one good thing, like uh, and the, when uh, at episode one and two and I, I think three as well, uh, they were like uh, giving that uh, the first introduction, like the soul uh, resides within a good sound body or something like that, and uh, like they were like giving all the intros, like uh, there's a academy and stuff, and they stopped that, and I think that is a good thing, like. <laughs> If you had to watch that introduction for, for like each and every episode, that would be kind of like, that would take away the time as well as like people won't like that much. So they kept it for the first few episodes and that is good enough. Because I doubt people would start from the third, ep fourth episode onwards, like people usually start from the first episode. 
Like I've seen a lot of animes with like introduction, introducing each and every episode, and that's kind of annoying. Tally? Wait, what? Wait, this Italy in this in this world? Okay, what is that bike? Killer Son Son J. Okay. Yes, definitely. Information is power. Ah. And there's a guy who looks. And here we go. Um. <laughs> yeah. And here comes the lackeys. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Like these guys are like the mafia or something? Hmm. You're going to get like beaten up. Uh Okay, I saw that coming. Everyone saw that coming. <laughs> oh my god. Black blooded terror. Krona? Hmm. And there she is again. What is she like a leopard or something? Like she has Oh no, those are tattoos, so what the hell am I saying? Ultimate weapon and maestro. Hmm. Okay, this is a new character, I think. Hmm. It's the same guy, it's like they're messing with other people. Wait, what? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that is Corona. Oh my god, he's going to probably kill everyone. Um. God damn, these guys don't learn. Ragnarok. This is weapon. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, what the hell? O open inward? Um. Okay, these guys are again going to get killed probably. Yeah. Why the hell is the moon bleeding like what? Oh my god. Sansan J. 
that name seems familiar like okay just in one hit wow and there is a soul hmm okay yeah this is third soul <laughs> yeah I, I was thinking like Okay. Hmm. No soul remedial lesson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wants to be big. Okay, Marka is sensing something. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> wow, there are a lot of fifty of it. Yeah, her power is like increasing. Yeah. What? Oh. Well, uh, are they like powerful enough to take them on? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> hmm. Got. <laughs> what? Like, are they all gone? Like. Yeah, they're all gone. Like, did they like? Did he like consume everyone or? Oh, so did did, did they like eat them? Oh my god! Like, this is pretty pretty serious now. Like. What? Medusa? Lady? Wait, what? Just a girl? Oh my god. Okay, so that, that's a girl. So, um, okay. So, reverse trap, I think, something. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> and what is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 she's there. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, he's, he's like scared of him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that uh, nurse a guy like in this school? Yeah, like oh, he's a nurse. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, that is horrifying. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> Wait, does he not know that he's like... Divorced or something? Um, what is happening? Oh yeah, he doesn't know. Oh my god. Oh, he knows it! <laughs> <laughs> the demon sword. Oh my what's happening with her? Okay, calm down. Uh oh 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 what is that? Some kind of demonic Okay, this is not good at all. My god, what? Oh, wow. What? Okay, these guys are freaky, like... Now he's talking. What the hell is that web? <laughs> is that a guy or a girl? I can't understand. Like, Corona, like, then who is Medusa? Like, they're calling her Lady Medusa or something like that. Okay, no, that is a guy, like, uh, I think. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, I... Ah... Uh, uh. Um... Oh, okay. Hmm... Okay. Is it like mutated or something? His blood itself is a... What? Oh my god, that is some power. Yeah, yeah, you have to be like stronger than the blood then to cut him. Hmm. As a guy, like, uh, I was a bit confused, like, yeah. So is Medusa this girl? Um, what? Okay, he's out of his mind. Scream resonance. Oh my god, they're like doing resonance? Oh my god, okay, okay, this is bad, this is bad. Damn! He's like weak uh, physically, but should probably block your ears or something. I think it's best to run from here. Okay. Yeah, you try to chew more than you can bite off, like. Mm, so, oh yeah, that that thing is like. Oh my god. Yeah, but I don't think you can run from this situation. Um, it, it, it opens inwards. God damn it! Ah, oh, Lord! It opens inwards. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, he he kind of reverted back to human. Okay, this is bad. Oh my god. It's going to end like that. Oh, great. Okay, um That was a cliffhanger, like... I think if uh, 
like uh, even if uh, black star was not here but if kid was here they would have been able to like take them easily because like uh, Maka and Sola like they're like barely starting like uh, what do you call it uh, they're like students and they have a lot to learn so yeah that was like um, the difficulty kind of like was spiked over there so they weren't able to handle that okay is that it yep that is the ending of episode number seven now like um, at the beginning of this episode uh, nothing uh, major happened like uh, we saw uh, that girl uh, that witch like she was like ordering others to eat souls something like that and um, and there's a new character Krona like uh, first of all like uh, what can I say uh, at first I thought that, that he was a guy which is probably correct because um, then I kind of mistook him uh, because uh, like uh, where is that place uh, because uh, the weapon said like Lady Medusa I was like um, wait so is that a girl and like uh, I, I don't know like, uh, like it's a bit difficult to uh, recognize girls and uh, boys in animes and like, I, I thought that maybe this was a, like a reverse trap or something like that but then again like it struck me that his name is Corona uh, god damn it what the hell am I saying his name is Corona <laughs> and, uh, and um, like uh, then who is Medusa like is the lady the, the, the weapon that is a Ragnarok said that Lady Medusa so is Lady Medusa like uh, that witch who is like hovering around up above the, the moon like is she called Medusa so that would make sense like uh, that girl is called Lady, uh, Medusa um, the, uh, the person uh, in the church that is uh, the purple haired guy is called Krona and um, the weapon is called Ragnarok so that makes sense but I was a little bit confused at the, um, in between like like at, uh, at the beginning I, I, I thought that was a guy but as, as you know anime and its characters like <laughs> you can't trust appearances like I've been fooled a lot of times <laughs> so I thought like maybe this was like I'm getting fooled again but apparently it's not and that, that, that is a guy and that is and his his name is Krona. So either Medusa is that girl who is like who's a witch, or someone else. Uh, I think that is uh, that girl's name is Medusa. Like the, the the weapon was calling her Lady Medusa, so that must be it. And um, yeah, like uh, like these are like tough enemies. And uh, Maka kind of knew that, uh, that like there are two people inside and. I don't know if she was able to gauge their power level but she went in and that was a big mistake like um, she was not ready for whatever that was what was going to happen and uh, yeah like like here we see that the weapon like uh, Krona's weapon is like his blood so whenever he's like he's getting slashed or something uh, he can harden his blood now that's a very convenient power like uh, like uh, your skin is not hard your skin can get uh, cut but his blood is hard so like uh, you're unable to uh, cut the uh, the blood vessel and uh, so like ultimately like the, the blood vessels act like as type of a bone a hard strong bones or not bone uh, like bones can be cut by bladed weapons uh, it, it acts as some kind of uh, what do you call that some kind of strong alloy or steel uh, or hard as iron or something like that so that is a very convenient uh, power because even if you are able to cut his skin you won't be able to penetrate him so yeah and there will be a little bit of blood loss uh, but still we're ultimately we're going to be fine and um, what else and the weapon uh, Ragnarok it has a like 
quite an annoying skill which is like screaming at the top of your lungs like what the hell and like 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 just imagine like uh, a weapon which screams like <laughs> yeah that that is pretty clever tactics like uh, if a weapon is able to scream uh, and like you take a you take a weapon you, for example you take a katana and like try to slash someone However, uh, how even uh, even though your opponent opponent is uh, like extremely strong, before hitting the opponent, if a uh, katana suddenly strikes, uh, starts screaming in an like um, like absurd pitch and like <laughs> shatter your eardrum, <laughs> like that you will be invincible. Like wherever you're going to, like even if you don't have any skill, your weapon can just scream and you can just slash other people and. Um, that would be it. Game over. <laughs> and the only kind of like uh, counter, uh, what do you, what are they called? Uh, the only thing that you can do to keep yourself safe from that scream is that you have to block your ears, like uh, some kind of thing. You have to like put it in your ears and then <laughs> start fighting. But that itself is an advantage because uh, during fighting you need to hear. Uh, properly because of uh, like you have to hear the um, uh, opponent like you there are like many things when you're fighting you have to uh, you have to have a good sight you have to be uh, keen at hearing because if the enemy kind of like sneaks behind you or tries to go behind you uh, you have to hear to understand like that's also uh, a crucial part so <laughs> blocking the ears is also kind of disadvantage to the person who is blocking the ears so that would be like this is a pretty, pretty what do you call it like uh, an annoying type of skill like streaming whenever you're to like like we saw here like soul and maka like they were able to block the attacks but uh, whenever they were like blocking the attacks the uh, weapon started screaming <laughs> and like uh, that was the thing that was uh, the most disadvantages to, towards them and um, yeah that was this episode like uh, and ultimately like uh, soul was forced to kind of revert back to his human form so that he can save Maka like Maka at that time Maka was unable to do like uh, she was kind of scared and everything and she was also concerned if like uh, if I try to block with soul like he can get hurt but ultimately like uh, like he got hurt he like tried like uh, when you're a weapon you are at the mercy of your of uh, at the one who is yielding uh, wielding you so like uh, soul was forced to turn into uh, human and uh, another thing like if he was a weapon and I think he would have probably been able to withstand that blow because weapons are technically strong uh, than human skin so like uh, when uh, like uh, here the th here is the thing like uh, so, uh, Maka was uh, fearful that uh, if soul gets hurt uh, in that form that that is quite bad so she was unable to uh, not unable she was uh, she did not try to block it but ultimately that was kind of the thing which made uh, soul uh, got injured more because he uh, just to save maka he transformed into his human form and that made him more in uh, more vulnerable to uh, the sword slash so as like uh, in the end like maka's intentions kind of got went to waste and uh, like that like her good intentions did more harm than that was intended like she was uh, trying to keep soul safe but ultimately um, uh, like he got more hurt like uh, trying to save her and like uh, she could have dodged it but i think she was like paralyzed and uh, like uh, paralyzed at uh, what what do you call that uh, by fear or something like that and like i've seen this before as well like uh, in the previous episode as well like uh, here's the thing I've uh, seen that uh, Maka is easily like uh, what do you call that scared or like she's easily overwhelmed uh, but at the same time like soul is not at all like uh, in the battle with Frank uh, Frankenstein 
like we saw that uh, Marco was uh, like uh, she became overwhelmed with the soul's intensity and uh, Frankenstein's soul's intensity and his strength and she kind of like fell down and uh, kind of gave up but soul uh, talked her out of that and uh, at the same time we can see that soul has like he does, uh, does not have fear and, and another thing is like uh, important here to see that it is not that soul is more brave it is the fact that soul is unable to see other people's intensity like uh, in the previous episode we also saw that they become easily like maka and subaki become easily overwhelmed or uh, a little bit more scared than the others because they're able to see the soul's intensity of different people so like if you suddenly see something uh, of a greater power just in front of you trying to kill you uh, definitely you're going to get scared so like that uh, like overwhelming pressure and everything that kind of like overwhelms um, uh, Maka and uh, the people who are able to see the intensity of the souls so like uh, soul here does not have that power so he is like able he's just like seeing the outer shell of that person and uh, not the inside the not the raw inside power so like he is able to like control his emotions quite well because of that because he, he's not seeing the intensity so that is also another thing that we have to keep in mind like it's not the fact that uh, maka is like uh, more uh, become more becomes more scared than soul or something like that or maka is uh, like not as brave as soul that's not the case here the case here is that maka is able to see the intensity of the soul that is the reason why she gets overwhelmed quick and I don't know if uh, Soul is able to see the intensity of the soul uh, of other soul. Would he like act the same way as Maka or not? Uh, but like, uh, if, uh, like uh, seeing the intensity of the other person's soul, like uh, that adds to the factor that uh, yeah, like if someone sees uh, someone, like if if you see some pe person in front of you, like uh, pull out a gun. Like you would definitely be scared. This is something like that. Like he's seeing the inside raw power. When you see a gun in front of you, you understand that yeah, this thing can might be able to kill me. So you're overwhelmed. You get uh, stunned or you get like uh, unable to move because of that fear. So the same thing is happening here. Like uh, he's uh, solely uh, Mark is able to see the killing intent of the thing, whichever that is inside. So that thing overwhelms her and she kind of gets like what do you call it? Uh, she kind of gets like stunned or uh, unable to move so there are, there are like a lot of factors we have to like keep in mind here so yeah um, okay so that was this episode um, nothing much to say here like uh, we, we saw what was happening like uh, they kind of like screwed up and they did not uh, like they they should have like went back uh, but as you know, like uh, they were unable to gauge the power level, so they kind of like headed into that the situation. So yeah, and that was a big cliffhanger, and I I'll be back with a new episode after a day. So I uh, like I think <laughs> uh, it's a bit easy on me. Like I wouldn't have to wait a week to s see. So. Yeah, that was this episode. Uh, I, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. And uh, subscribe if you're new or uh, have not subscribed to the channel. And uh, comment down below your uh, opinions about this episode. Anything you want to share, and I'll be sure to uh, reply to that. And um, yeah, I'll be back with a new Soul episode, uh, Soul Eater episode after one day. And that's episode number eight. And <laughs> like uh, the cliffhanger was a bit tough and. Uh, like uh, yeah, uh, I I hope that uh, so uh, like episode number eight doesn't present us with another cliffhanger and <laughs> uh, yeah, so and that cliffhanger gets resolved in the episode number eight. So yeah, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video of Soul Eater. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.